Hello everyone, welcome back to EdgeBlind, I am Gio George. Today I am going to share with you guys how to upgrade your laptop RAM. It's so easy to do it, so I am going to do it for my wife's laptop. So I thought about sharing with you guys. So stay tuned. You will be thinking like why we have to upgrade your RAM. Because my wife is keep on complaining her laptop is so slow. Because she opens lots of programs in a computer, you know, it's, it basically gets slow. So whenever you're using a you know, program, if you don't need it, just close it right away. You know, it will help. But in her case, like, you know, she have to use like a multiple program all the time. So the easy way to fix it is just upgrade the RAM. So I am going to do that right now. Maybe it will give you like a little bit more, you know, uh, performance. All right, everyone. So this is an HP laptop. The model number is 15DW0XXX. So this is the one we're going to change it. The first thing you have to do, you need to shut down the computer. You shut down, you need to wait like a 10 second. You need to make sure it's completely shut off. So the very important thing, you need to make sure it's completely shut off. The next thing, you need to close the laptop. If you have a power cable hooked in, you need to make sure you need to take that off also. You need to make sure there is no battery charger connected to the laptop. It's now is the completely uh, shut off laptop. Now, we need to open the laptop. So you need to flip it down. Before you do that, you need to put something on the table so it doesn't scratch the laptop. So let me go do that. So now you need to remove some screws. So you, there is one over here, one over this side. Then there is some of them here inside this rubber. Also, you have some of them on this side also. There is a rubber, you need to remove the rubber. So it's gonna be there is some screws. So let's to remove the rubber, you need a, uh, some kind of small screwdriver. Then, you know, you just put it inside. Oh, this one is already coming off, so it's easy for me to do it. So this comes right off. And see, this is a rubber piece. Put that aside. The other side also. Just put it in the corner and pull it up. It will come right off. There is the four screws on top. You have a two screws on the side, one and two, and one on the under the rubber. So we need to remove that. All right, so I'll be using a, a small uh, star screwdriver. So the bottom screws are really small. The one on um, under the rubber, the screws are a little bit bigger. So when you put it back on, you need to make sure you put the you know, screws on right places. Now remove the top screws. There is four of them. See, I keep it like this. See all the top, the, all the top one on the top position, all the bottom one I put on the bottom. That way, you know, I know exactly where the screw goes. Time to open the cover. Open the cover, flip the laptop, and you need to use some kind of small, you know, the plastic on the corner and pull it up. Very gently pop it open and, you know, you just slide it. It has a lot of, you know, the plastic uh, locking system inside. So you can hear like in a small cracking, see? Uh, that's just opening the, uh, the plastic knobs inside the cover. Now you just work through all around it. Don't rush, take your time. If you rush, if you put too much pressure, it will break, it's plastic. And gently lift it. It's open. Now flip the laptop. It will come right off. There you go. And make sure if you open, there is a dust, clean the dust. In my case, I don't have that much. There is no dust. So I don't have to clean it. Dust, you know, make sure you clean it before you put it back. Now there's the next step is to remove the battery. So I, I, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, I took one, two, three, four, four screws. And then it will come right off. See, you need to make sure you take that off and put that aside. So I already removed the battery. Now you have to wait like 10 seconds. Why I remove the battery? Because I don't want to get, you know, short any circuit. So it's always better to remove the battery to do any kind of stuff inside the laptop. It doesn't matter, it's a laptop. Any electronic stuff you do, make sure you take the battery off. That way there is no current at all. It, it will prevent not shorting the, you know, circuits. All right, everyone. So the, my RAM position is right here. So I have one more slot here. So before you buy the RAM, you need to make sure what kind of RAM is compatible to, to your motherboard. To look that, you need to go to the HP site. If you don't have a HP, if you have a different brand, every brand has like their own site. 
you could go to their site and find out you know what kind of you know the ram you're supposed to use also this laptop this model laptop you could upgrade to up to 32 gb uh, ram so i'm not doing 32 gb right now because i already have a 8 gb so i am upgrading to 8 gb ram so the one i'm using is a uh, crucial brand um, ram is a ddr4 8 gb so i have another extra slot here so some laptop doesn't have like an you know, extra slot so you need to make sure the one you are changing it and it has a uh, extra uh, the ram uh, slot so i'll be opening my ram there you go all right now you need to hold the ram like this you need to put that into the socket so before you put that in the socket you can see it's like a small point right there it has to match with the socket also now you need to put the you know ram like a 30 degree angle push all the way in so you can see there is no teeth like all the you know the golden teeth you can see it let's go inside the socket so you just gently push it in so so you can see that all the teeth are inside now now just push it down so you can hear like a clicking noise there you go so now is a lock in position so you're all done now we just need to put the battery back on now put the battery back in put all the screws back All right, so now the battery is on position, our RAM already installed. If you guys wanna change the hard drive, hard drive is right here. I already have a one tub hard drive, so I don't have to change it. If you guys wanna change it, there's a two screw right here. It will come right off, then you can put the new one in. When you open it, you can see like maybe there's a lot of dust on the fan and stuff. Just clean it before you put it back. So use like a, you know, small paint brush and just, you know, brush it off gently. Now, everything on reverse order, we need to put the cover back. Now put the cover back, push it down so you can hear like a clicking noise. See? All four corners, press it down. Now, let's put the screws back. Don't over tight the screw, just, you know, just a snug. Make sure that the corner one, that's a small screw. Don't forget it. All the big screws are under the rubber bush. No over tight, it's just a snug. If you over tight, it will break. Make sure you don't over tight any screw. Next step, put the rubber bush back on. Let's turn the laptop on. It will take a little bit more time to, you know, um, turn it on because you just installed a new RAM. So system has to re-register a new uh, hardware. So don't be scared. It's take a little bit more time. All right, everyone, so that's it. Now you guys can see the RAM, I have a 16 GB. The previous one, I have only 8 GB. So this is it, it's so simple. You guys can do the same thing too if your laptop is slowing down. Instead of changing the laptop, just change the RAM. So RAM, or if you have like a really low uh, grade hard drive, just change both you know, both of them. So it will uh, fast the computer a little bit more. So I bought this RAM from Amazon. If you wanna buy it, I will leave the link in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share and subscribe. Until I see you next time, stay blessed.